today's class color day, if you wore your class color, show up in the quad at lunch and we'll count. And basically, if you the class that has the most people dressed up in their class, you get a class point. And basically what that is, it's a point system which adds up by the end of the year. And the winning class basically gets a pizza party. So if you want a pizza party, then dress up. What? You guys quiet down. It doesn't and so, matter. And so this year, we have a continuing system of keeping track of who's winning. And so the Falcons... <laughs> so sophomores are in the lead right now from the donut eating competition. So yeah, and tomorrow, tomorrow is Jersey Shore Day, so dress up in your favorite t-shirts and get your fake tan on. Spend 25 minutes on your hair, and it's t-shirt time! <laughs> okay, so, announcements. Right. Club sign-up sheets are on the board, so if you're interested in clubs, sign up. Um, Jets is going to meet on F day, but not tomorrow. Um, and if you, today in yearbook had their first meeting this morning at 7.40 in the Mac Lab. If you're still interested, you can come on our next meeting, which is on Friday. Thanks for your attention. Uh, yesterday we talked about some big ideas. Maybe this one doesn't come to mind immediately, but I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, Angela and Michael certainly have. There's a little more chatter and whispering and murmuring during announcements. That's neither respectful nor productive. Uh, you might miss something important and it's just uh, what's simply not York-like. So, uh, I have an announcement that's a matter of both traffic and safety concern. Unless you are fortunate enough to walk to school every day, as I am, this applies to you. Uh, as mo many of you know, uh, thousands of people come to this area every year during what's generally referred to as Car Week. And a couple of those big events are nearby in the next two days. Friday in particular, there will be a lot of cars on 68, there will be a lot of cars on York Road because the Concorso Italiano and all the Ferraris is just over the hill at Laguna Seca Golf Ranch. There's something else going on at Toro Park. Please, if you drive or if you ride in a car to school, and that's most of you, you need to allow for a little extra time on Friday. And be careful because there'll be a lot of people on the road. More specifically, primarily for you as seniors, the upper lot, the one by the live, or the science building and day hall, is going to be closed on Thursday and Friday because the big trucks that bring in those Ferraris are going to park in that lot. They are renting it from the school. Uh, and then on Friday, as they're exiting, you need to be particularly careful. We'll probably block off the visitor parking spots because those um, transfer trucks are of considerable girth. And uh, they want to make sure they see you. So warn your parents about the traffic. And when you show up on Thursday and Friday in your cars, park someplace else. Uh, we like to refer to the lot around the softball field as Siberia. So you're welcome there. Thank you. So I'd like to thank the many of you who turned in your forms that were due on the first day of school and talking to returning students who are in the 10th, 11th, or 12th grade. And um, some of you have not. So if you have not, you should know that because you have not, and because I notified you on your grade report in June what you still, that you still had some things to do. I've, um, I'm posting the names of those people who have something that needs to be completed. If your name is highlighted in yellow, you may not attend the school dance on Friday unless this is turned into me by noon on Friday. If you turn it in at 3 or on your way into the dance, you will be tur rejected. You're turned away. So I'm going to read them off very fast without last names so that you know that your name's on this list and you can go and check and see what the problem is or come and see me. It also says where I'm available, room six during tutorial, otherwise the faculty room, unless I'm teaching a class. So class of 2014, Salisa so A, Andrea A, Nisha A, Mara A, Katie B, Sandra B, Shirley C, Camille F, 
Um, Cassie G, Sam G, Amy H, Andrew K, Izzy L, Scotty P, Sasha S, Jack Yost. Why? That's what I was going to say. Class of 2013, Cooper A, Cody A, Bryce B, Christina C, Adrian D B, Luis F, Quinton G, Karishma G, Tyler J, Alicia L, Rebecca M, Natana M, Kai M, uh, Kelsey M, Aless Alessandra M, Nat P, Noah R, Brianna T. Class of 2012, Nisha A, Kobe A, Monsef B, Krista B, Annika C, Michael C, Hayden C, Tito F, Alex H, Eric H, Graham H, Sonia K, Ryan K, Kyla K, Colin M, Alex O, Mark M, William S, Aaron S, Ellie S, Taylor T, Emily W, Tyler Z, and Nina Z. And I expect to hear from all of you in writing or in person today and tomorrow. And that is to remind you all that the auditions for the musical are tomorrow or Friday, your choice, at 2.45 in the theater. If you're interested, please make sure that you let your health and fitness teacher know first that you will be auditioning and then come in. Everybody is cast. There seems to be a little bit of confusion about that. If you audition and you have the time and the interest in being in the show, you will be in the show. There's no cuts. So we'd love to see lots of returning students who maybe never tried this before or new students who just want to get involved in something right away. So we'd love to see you tomorrow. The other thing is that I have filled most of the production positions with great people and I'm really pleased about that. But the only one that I don't have filled is the assistant director stage manager, which is arguably one of the most important positions. So if you have the time after school and you're interested and you're really bossy, then I would encourage you to come see me because I would love to work with you for the next couple of months. And if you have any questions, see me as well. I'm usually in room six. Thank you. Hey, first of all, seniors. I think there's been a little confusion about off-campus privileges. So let me try to clarify that a little bit for you. You can also go to page 14 of the handbook and um, see that clarification in writing. In fact, uh, as far as the handbook is concerned, we were not even accepting applications for off-campus privileges until next Monday. So, out of the goodness of her heart, Ms. Mastin has been taking in those applications. However, you do not automatically have off-campus privileges just because you had it last year, as I mentioned to you um, at the orientation. So if you have been signing out thinking that you had off-campus privileges, you actually do not yet, so please don't sign out. Um, when your off-campus privileges have been approved, you will be told by Ms. Madsen that that is the case, and also Ms. Sanico will get um, notification of that as well. Okay, so if you have any questions about that, come and see me or check page 14 of the handbook. All right, then, wow, it's really bright up here. Um, I am here also to remind those of you who do not have forms in, and those of you at home who haven't turned forms in, that it's very, very important that we get those forms. They need to be turned into the front office to Ms. Sanico, and I'm going to tell you some of the, the, the reasons you, you want to turn those forms in as soon as I tell you or remind you who it is who needs to have those forms. All right, so we're looking for a transportation permission form from Krista, Dalila, Anna Tienda, Alex Harvey, Brendan Martin, Reno, Alex O, and Christina. Those of you on this list who are seniors, the reason you want to get your, those transportation forms in is because it will become problematic for your senior retreat if we don't know that we are allowed to transport you. Emergency medical authorization forms we need from Krista and Alex O. 
Okay, now why should you get your health and fitness medical authorization forms in? It is because beginning tomorrow you may not participate in health and fitness or any team sport if we do not have that form in our hot little hands. Again, if we don't have these forms, the health and fitness medical authorization forms by tomorrow, you will be sitting in the library rather than participating in a team sport or health and fitness. Those people are Solisa, Jordan, Monset, Krista, Michael Cho, Drea, Jackson, Eric Hinwood, Max, Alicia, Izzy, Jennifer, Colin, Alex O, Thomas, uh, Will Ramsey, Mark Reyes, Ben Scott, Aaron She, Rolf Taylor, Tyler, and Nina. If you have any questions about that, please see me or see Ms. Sanico. One more thing. Okay. This afternoon, we have our first tutorial. If you are in a sport, in a team, on a team sport, you go to that team sport today. In future, if we have a tutorial and you feel that you need to, to see a teacher, we strongly encourage that and that really does take priority over your team practice. But you will want to get, um, just notify and get permission from your coach before you go to that tutorial. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you. As we get our music program underway, I will give you continuing reminders. Tomorrow, F Day will be in the next orchestra rehearsal. And if you didn't come to the orchestra two days ago, you can still show up tomorrow. Bring your instrument to the music room, 740, and play notes. Choir continues on G Day Friday, right there at 740. If you did not come to choir the other day for any number of reasons, but you want to be part of choir, come. And uh, jazz again tomorrow continues. A couple of announcements. Uh, first off, uh, anybody who uh, was in an art class last year, and if you have a portfolio that you left behind, you have about a week to pick it up, and then it'll have to be recycled. So come by and see me or Ms. Wagstaff and get your work. Uh, next uh, fall fair, October 15th. Seems like a ways off, but um, we're starting to plan for it. If you want to sponsor a booth, uh, pick up an application from me right outside this door after a break. Um, for those of you who are new, there's a lot of you new to school here. It's, uh, it's our annual fundraiser, kind of community-based uh, festival that is a lot of fun. Uh, it features, uh, your, your booth can feature foods and crafts or um, uh, some kind of activity. Uh, and if you have questions about what kind of booth you might want to sponsor, talk to the student council or myself or somebody who did it last year. Um, it's a great opportunity for you to be creative and raise money for your class or your club. Um, and it's just a really good time. Um, so, uh, let's see, oh, a percentage of the money that you raise goes to financial aid, so you can feel good about that too. Um, the Septem September 9th is the deadline for returning these to me, so you want to pick one up, start to think about it, um, what you're going to do, how you're going to decorate, and those kinds of things. Uh, student council, let's plan to meet on uh, this A day at lunch. Uh, unless Ms. Williston has another plan, we can meet in, in my office, in my classroom, um, and give you assignments to start planning for fall fair. Thanks. So, one of the really neat things about the start of the school year is making new friends, is meeting new friends. And so I'm here this uh, morning to introduce you to a new friend. While the official mascot of York is the Falcon, the unofficial mascots of York are Fred and Rosie. This is Fred. Fred is a California 
desert tortoise. His companion, Rosie, is back at the science building. Um, I used to bring them both to break and introduce both of them, but um, over the years, um, they've gotten bigger and bigger. I can't carry both of them at the same time anymore. So, um, Fred and Rosie belong to the school. Um, they are right now about 15 years old. Um, they will live to be about 200 years, probably well beyond definitely me and probably you. Um, and so in order to keep them nice and healthy, I need to let you know there are a couple of rules. During the day, they live in an enclosure that's right outside the bathrooms of the science building in Day Hall. Um, you've seen it probably empty as you've walked by. Um, and then in the evening, we bring them in to keep them safe from predators. Um, during the daytime, you are welcome to interact with them. You can talk to them. You can sing to them. Um, you can even go and if you want to, you can pet their little head. But what I'm going to ask you is do not feed them. So they are vegetarians, but even though you think that, you know, the, um, the apple or the lettuce from your sandwich would be really great for them. Please don't give them anything. Don't throw things in there. Um, if you throw trash in there, they will pick it up and it potentially could block their digestive system. So we don't want anything to happen to them. We want them to live to a ripe old age. But they are your mascot, so say hi to them. Hi. Yeah, I think it's it's passed, so you gotta 